In Read Naturally Live and Read Naturally Live Espanol, many of the steps can be customized to fit the needs of individual students by using story options. To access story options, log in and on the home page or navigation menu, click Read Naturally Live or Read Naturally Live Espanol. Then, select one or more students and click Change Story Options for Selected. You can also open story options while you're working with a student by using the Teacher menu. In the following examples, you'll see how to customize the steps for Rachel, who's working in Read Naturally Live. Specifically, you'll see how to turn off steps, how to allow a student to independently conduct cold timings, how to adjust the number of required read-alongs, how to change the duration of timings, and how to change the required number of practice timings. You'll also see how to turn off the recording feature. When you enroll a student, all the steps in the program are enabled. If you think a student would benefit from skipping a step, you can turn that step off. For example, Rachel is having difficulty with the prediction and retell steps because she types very slowly. So, Rachel's teacher, Paul Ramos, has decided to turn off these steps. Instead, he'll ask Rachel to write her prediction in a notebook and orally retell the story. Rachel has just started a new story. The progress bar shows that she's on the key word step. Paul wants to turn off the next step, prediction, as well as the retell step. Paul takes the mouse and clicks teacher. He logs in by entering his user ID and password. Then, he clicks change story options. The story options page lists the steps that can be customized. Paul clicks the prediction switch to turn off that step. He turns off the retell step too. He clicks save to apply the changes and then returns to Rachel's story. Notice that the prediction and retell steps are now labeled off in the progress bar. These steps will be turned off for this story and all Rachel's future stories unless Paul turns the steps back on in story options. When Rachel clicks next, the program skips over the prediction and moves on to the next step. Another customization is to specify whether a teacher must conduct cold timings. By default, a teacher must be present for the cold timing. During this step, teachers check to see if each student's placement is appropriate, especially in the first few stories. Teachers also coach students to accurately identify their errors. Many teachers prefer to be present for the cold timing, but once a student can identify errors with reasonable accuracy, the student can do this step independently without waiting for the teacher. During the cold timing step, Paul's been coaching Rachel on how to identify her errors. Even though he was present, she marked her own errors and Paul pointed out any that she missed. During the last few stories, Rachel has been able to identify most of her own errors. Paul thinks she's ready to time herself independently, so he opens story options for Rachel. Under cold timing, he sets teacher required to no and then saves his changes. Notice that now, Rachel can begin her cold timing immediately. The read-along step can be customized in several ways. Teachers can turn off the step, select the number of read-alongs a student must perform, and for some levels, select a Spanish read-along. This option may be appropriate for some native Spanish speakers who are learning to read in English. Let's return to our student, Rachel, to see how to adjust the number of read-alongs. It's now later in the year, and with the support of Read Naturally Live, Rachel is reading stories at a level that is half a year above her grade level. For each story, she still reads along with the audio and practices several times. Paul has decided it's time to remove some of Rachel's audio support to prepare her to graduate from Read Naturally Live. Rachel is at the read-along step, and she's required to complete the default number of read-alongs, three. Paul opens Rachel's story options to reduce the number of read-alongs required. 
Teachers can select from zero to five required read-alongs for each student. Each story has been recorded at three different speeds. The Auto option automatically sets the appropriate pace for each read-along, making each one a little faster than the last. But teachers can instead select one speed to use for all the required read-alongs. Paul selects the minimum number of times he wants Rachel to read along. He lets the program automatically increase the pace of each reading. If Paul wanted Rachel to read along with the Spanish translation of the story first, he would turn on the Spanish read-along. Setting the Spanish read-along option requires a student to read along with or listen to a Spanish translation of the story before the English read-along. A similar option is available to enable students in Read Naturally Live Espanol to read along in English before reading along in Spanish. Now on the read-along step, Rachel has to complete only two read-alongs. In Story Options, you can also adjust the timing duration. Typically, students practice for one minute at a time. One-minute timings keep students motivated by highlighting their immediate improvement. However, some of your students might benefit from two-minute or whole story timings, especially those who are struggling with comprehension. For example, you might want older students working in higher levels to read for longer, more sustained periods. Two-minute timings work well in this situation. You can also use whole story timings anytime you want your students to read the entire story. If you choose this option, pay attention to your student's motivation. Some students lose their motivation when required to read the entire story many times. To change the length of timing, go to Story Options, select a practice duration, and save the changes. If you change the practice duration, the hot timing duration will also change to match. Students typically practice a story 3 to 10 times to reach their goal. By default, the minimum number of practices is set to 3. However, you can reduce this number. Reducing the required number of practices may make sense for older students or for students preparing to graduate from the program. While students wait for a teacher to conduct the pass activities, they have an opportunity to record themselves reading the story. However, you can turn this feature off. Rachel doesn't have the hardware needed to use the recording feature, so Paul wants to turn the recording feature off. In Story Options, Paul clicks the Enable Recording Feature switch and saves his changes. In this video, you've seen how to use Story Options to adapt Read Naturally Live and Read Naturally Live Espanol to meet the needs of each of your students.